Hello, welcome back to Discovery Lab Online. My name is Amber Shive, and I'm the Director of Education at the Fort Worth Museum of Science and History. Today, we're going to be doing a summer STEM building challenge based on one of my favorite parts about summer, cantilevers. Can you believe that cantilevers are a big part of summer fun? Now, you've probably seen a cantilever before if you've been to the pool recently. A cantilever is a long beam that extends that's only fixed at one side, only attached at one side. Have you ever been to a pool that has a diving board before? If so, then you've seen a cantilever. If you haven't seen a diving board, maybe you've seen a diving rock. A rock that's attached at one side and then the rock extends where you can jump off of it. Now, cantilevers are so much fun. You can see so many different examples. Now, cantilevers are attached at one side and then it has a long beam that extends. Today, we're gonna to be building cantilevers with things that you can find around your house. And I'm gonna challenge you to see how long of a cantilever you can build. Now, the constraints of this project, because every STEM project has constraints. The constraints are you can only attach it from one side and see how far it can extend. Now, you can attach it with tape, you can use glue, you can use whatever you can find around your house with your parents' permission. And now the criteria is that it can only stay on one side and you wanna see how far you can get it to extend. So the criteria is you're building with things from your house to see what kind of cantilever you can build. Now, one of the things that we've tried at my house, and I'll show you a video here in just a second, is we use some Kiva blocks. We have some Kiva blocks around. Hi guys, today we're making, making cantilevers out of Kiva blocks. And that, of course, means and keep going on the other side. So like this, you put weight. What happens if it falls down? If it falls down, you just start over. And also, if you tumble it, and then you're done. And it's okay if it falls. It doesn't matter because you try it on. And just with any STEM project, the first step that you want to do is you want to think about what your problem is. And our problem is we want to build a cantilever that only is attached to one side that can extend out. Then you want to start brainstorming what that's going to look like. When you brainstorm, it's always a great idea to sketch out your ideas on a piece of paper so that you have your thoughts on paper before you start building. And then you get to start gathering your supplies and start creating. The creation part is one of my very favorite parts. After you start creating, then you're going to test it out and see if you can improve it. Are there any ways that you can make it extend further? Are there any ways you can make it longer? Are there any ways that you can make your base stronger so the cantilever can keep going out? And the last thing is you get to share your ideas. So I definitely want to see the cantilevers that you come up with and share them in our comments below. We'd love to see what you're building with. But you could use Legos. You could use Duplo blocks. You could even use straws and tape. If you decide to use straws and tape, you can attach the straws to a wall, to a cabinet with your parents' permission, and then see how far out you can build that cantilever. The great thing about this project is you can create it out of so many different materials. If you want to see more family-friendly STEM videos, be sure to like this, one, like this one and be sure to follow our page on YouTube. If you have any questions about videos that you'd love to see, we'd love to hear about them. You can put in comments below. Thank you so much for listening. Have a great day, and I can't wait to see your creations. 